So recently I got to go to Berlin for work, but luckily I had enough free time on my hands to also go out there and shoot some photos. And Berlin is really a beautiful city with a lot of history, but also a lot of amazing sights to be seen and of course to be captured. So in this POV I try to take you through Berlin, but also explain my thought processes and take these photos. So hopefully you'll enjoy. So we have this nice hallway with all these columns, but the main one there's too many people there, but this one is pretty much empty, which makes for a nice shot. Nice warming up shot. Alright, I think we can also use these pillars to frame a photo of the TV tower. You know, I like searching for foregrounds or uh, frames. Speaking about foregrounds, I think we can use... These railing as, as a foreground, and maybe even shoot through it. This is a pretty nice shot. Simple, but it does the trick with the foreground. Let's see if we can fit a shot through one of these. The angle isn't quite right, so maybe if we go a little bit closer to the building, we might be able to align it. Could make for a really cool shot. Yeah, I like this. Let me make sure you can see as much as possible, even though you probably can't see the screen. Kind of like this shot. Simple, but foreground is very powerful. Again, going for another shot here of this dome and using a little bit of foreground of this pillar. Um, which I tend to do a lot because it's just an easy way to make a shot more interesting. And we're quite lucky because there's almost no one around now, so we can actually get one of the main hallway with pillars, which looks very nice. Very cool. Um, let's get low to the ground as well. That's usually a good trick to get a more interesting POV. Right, so this is the other side of the building, which looks way more modern, but again, you have these pillars which you can use to frame a cool shot. I kind of like the contrast with the old bit and the new bit. Again, trying to use this wall as a little bit of foreground and shooting this modern part of the building. I kind of like it. It's very clean. And maybe get a shot from a little bit further so you can see the, the new part and the old part together a little bit. Alright, well this is just a cool building, so I have to go for the shot, but also we can see the TV tower between the domes, which is kind of nice. Going for another one further away. Um, we have some trees in the foreground, which is nice, and again we have the TV tower just sticking up. And we're going to try to shoot through this little thing. Again. Alright, going for some foreground here as well. Just very simple, but just to try uh, get something in the shot to make it more interesting than just shoot the normal building. We're going for a reflection shot here. A very cool effect. I'm going to have a lot of shots of these domes and this TV tower. So I'm waiting for the boat to come by, so I have some foreground in this shot. The buildings, you know, look kind of nice. It's not a very hard shot. It's just an easy shot, but that works. Right, I'm trying to play with the foreground here, have this little crown and bear and focus on the crown and bear or focus on the building. Let me know what's your favorite. Alright, this is a very nice shot and I wanted to get that tram on that bridge there because I think it looks cool. Totally. Alright, this little fire truck looks very cool. And this is very typical for Berlin, this little Trabant cars. Um, so, I'm trying to get some shots of that. You know, because when I'm here in Berlin, I also want to try and capture some of the more typical things that you only see here. And this is definitely one of them. Nice yellow raised car. Would be cool to spot them in the wild though. And there we go. Just coming back. The sco these colors are great for a photo. Especially the pink one. Alright, trying to capture still the Trabant car, but now through the wall, which is a... There's a piece of the wall left here. 
which makes for a very dramatic effect. Um, looking through the wall at this car, I'm gonna go a little bit wider as well, so we can actually see the whole crack in the wall. I really like this shot. It's very simple, but again, playing with foreground. Um, and then again, this is a part of the wall where it's just open. Alright, so we arrived at this monument, and of course we were trying to capture it, but we also, of course, wanted to be respectful. Uh, unfortunately, not many tourists are, because they climb on everything. But it's a great... you can get some really dramatic shots here. Alright, trying to get the depth and the fastness of this place. Because you really feel lost when you're walking inside of this place. I think that is what they meant to do. Just trying to get some foreground in. And trying to get the scale of everything. Alright, Brandenburger Tor. Also a very uh, famous site here in Berlin. As you can see, very busy. So I'm trying to get some interesting shots by having some people taking photos in the foreground. These girls using the suitcases as a tripod, I thought were interesting to have in the foreground. Especially because it's a little bit empty around them. And then, well, let's just get a close up, just an easy shot while I'm waiting. Okay, this guy is taking a photo as well. I just like, if it's a busy place like this, to take photos of people taking photos, because then I have a, a subject who tells a story, and it's a lot more interesting than just having uh, a site with a crowded place for it. Tried to get a shot of these bikes in front of it, but then this girl stepped in as well, but they actually made for a really nice shot. Alright, going for the reflection here, because it's quite good. And this side of the building looks very cool as well. Um, just a very easy shot, but reflection shots are always nice to look at. I really enjoy taking them as well. Yeah, that looks that looks okay. Not the best, but there's a flower in the middle here as well. It looks cool with the reflection. And again, taking photos of people taking photos is a great way to like kind of have a, a little story. Almost forgot to turn the GoPro on, but we got the shot. Then this dome again with some people in front of it and all the rope works here. I think it makes for an interesting shot. More interesting than if there wasn't anything. And of course, when in Berlin, when in Germany, can't miss out on some curry wasps. And this guy was playing music, so of course we had to go for the shot. But I wanted to make it more interesting, get some foreground as well. So I was looking how to do that, maybe capture some people in front of it. But this shot, this shot is great. Alright, going low again. We're spotting some trabants in the wild. So hopefully we can get some shots when they're driving here. Uh, I don't know if that worked. Maybe. And... Oh, we got a tram here. Very nice color for the trams. Stand out very well. Great for photos. Again, trying to use some foreground here. No people this time, but just a statue. But it works. It really works. And I want a shot of this fountain as well, but it's again very busy. But this one girl in the red has a nice contrast with the fountain. I think it works. Not the best shot. Alright, trying to get a shot of these two towers next to the road. I'm gonna have to wait for the, like the right car to be in the shot because I think that will make it more interesting. Don't want that trailer. Just want a nice car, probably a color, but I don't know if I'm gonna be that lucky. So I'm just gonna keep taking shots until I see something that I like. That car could work. Ah, oh, that's okay. So that was it for this POV. If you want to see more, click the playlist on the screen. If you want to see something different that I captured in Berlin, I also went around and shot some photos with my instant camera, which had some really nice results.